Pretentious, Agartha needs you. Yo, what's up, Yaku? What can I do for you? I fired our entire PR department because they were a bunch of soy boys, but now we need you to show us how to make a sick edit. Oh, bro, I got you. Yeah, tap in. What's up, everyone? Uh, a lot of you guys have been asking how I make these videos and where I, what AIs I'm using, things like that. So I'm just going to show you guys really quickly using a quick 10 second clip that we're going to edit together. And I'm going to show you guys how, how I do it. Um, let's get right to it. So we got our clip. Um, it's clutch. These are great for these edits because you can do the whole little 1v3 clutch for Agartha kind of thing. Um, we're just gonna have Yakub pop in, say, hey, this is a, a dire circumstance, we need you to do it. We're gonna have him give me a monster, to give me that extra energy I need for this clutch and show you guys how that kind of thing works. And yeah, yeah, we're gonna send it. So starting out, first thing we wanna do is we wanna add all of our animations overlaid. So we're gonna have to go into Grok to make those if we wanna do it for free. There's other AIs that are available, but in my opinion, Grok is the one that has the least restrictions and is freely available. So we're gonna hop over there right now. First things first, we are going to find a picture of Yakub. Uh, anything really is gonna work, but these PNGs work best. They don't have any kind of background inherently. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and save that. Once we have our photo of Yakub, we are gonna head over to the Imagine tab on Grok and we are going to go ahead and we are going to click attach and we're going to upload that file from wherever you would have it uh, we're going to use the default one that i just downloaded and we're going to pull this up so you can see that there's no background that's the png first thing we're going to do uh, because the ai is just going to fill in the background is we are going to say make the background green after that we're going to say have him say yeah that's what happens by default don't worry about it it's weird ai stuff i always start all of my videos with pretentious agartha needs you so we're gonna have him say that I like to use an adjective, I like to say the deep voice, because it feels like Yakub would have a deep voice, but I like to use the adjectives. Um, it usually will help you create a more consistent voice and style, but it's not always going to work, and you just have to be okay with that if you're using AI. All right, so we went ahead and we did the make the background green, have him say in a deep voice, pretentious, Agartha needs you, and now it's rendering. Agartha needs you! So sometimes it adds a lot of weird stuff. His necklace is swinging for some reason, and it's all glitchy. He's got hair for some reason. So if that ever happens, all we're gonna do is we're gonna say, he has no hair, his necklace is not moving. Now we've generated our second attempt at this. He does not have hair and his necklace is not moving. So let's see how it sounds. Pretentious, Agatha needs na. Okay. Pretentious. Well, he just said the wrong word. Now we're probably just gonna have to redo it. All right, this is attempt number three for AI. Pretentious Agartha needs you. It's not the best. The voice is a little off and he's not perfectly lip synced, but for the purposes of today, it'll do. So we're just gonna use it. Uh, you might just have to redo it a few times. You can add some more adjectives and distinctions to kind of get him to stop jumping up and down, to have him uh, have a more consistent voice, things like that. Since we like it, we're gonna click download. All right, now that we have AI Yakub here, we're gonna go ahead and put him into the timeline right over at the beginning. We're gonna cut out the parts that he's not talking and that the screen's not right, green. There we go. I'm gonna go into whatever the so whatever your software's way is for making use of green screens. Uh, here in DaVinci, you go to Fusion. You find the Delta key option. You're just gonna have to figure out how to do the green screen effect for whatever software that you're using. But we've just done it here. So we're coming back. We have a cube here in the center. Um, we're gonna go ahead and add an effect that has a digital glitch effect to it to make it look like he is calling in. And then we are going to position it. So we wanna make him a little smaller so he doesn't take up the whole screen. And we're gonna put him off to the side, probably in the top left, just cause it feels right. 
And so now the beginning of our clip. Pretentious Agartha needs you. All right, now that we have Yakub in our video, and you guys know how to make Yakub say whatever you need him to say, I'm gonna go ahead and do that a couple more times to fill out the rest of the clip, and then we are going to do the next part of the edit. All right, now we have Yakub set up throughout our whole clip. We did one more where we had Yakub in the prompt. We said, hold up a monster and then say. Now we have a video of him with the monster. So what we're gonna do is we are going to come towards the end of the clip and we are going to export a still, which means basically just this image here, what is currently in the video, as a picture. So we uploaded our still from the video and we had it say, have the man hand the main character the white monster energy drink and have the main character drink it. Okay, so that was super goofy. We're gonna try it again. Okay, we messed with the prompt a little bit. We told it to maintain first person view and we changed it so they have the man hand the white monster energy drink to the main character, then have the main character drink it in first person view. It's all super goofy and you're gonna have to play around with it a lot and just do a lot of redos. But for now, we're gonna take this and we're gonna use it for our video. Okay, so we've put in the monster drinking clip. We messed with the speed a little bit. That's just something you'll have to figure out how to do yourself, depending on the software that you're using. And we're gonna do the uh, return home to Agartha part. All right, so first things first, we're gonna clear off any Yakubes, any overlays, anything like that. And we're just gonna go towards the very end of the clip. Uh, there's a few different ways to do this. I'm lazy, so I'm just gonna cut off the end of the clip. And this way we have a very easy, convenient way to know which frame we are going to send to Grok to animate with AI. So let's go ahead and take our still, aka our screenshot. So we're gonna go with something simple. All we're gonna do is say, have the main character abducted by a UFO. Let's see what it comes up with. All right, we have our return to a Garther clip. We're gonna go ahead and put it right here at the end, delete off that bit that we cut off because we were lazy. We're gonna put Yakub back where he belongs. And that's our clip. Pretentious Agartha needs you. You're all that's left. They have you outnumbered three to one, but you must defuse the bomb at all cost. Take this, you might need it. By Kirk, you've done it. You've saved Agartha. Now return home, soldier. All right, everyone, that is it. Uh, it took us about 10, 15 minutes to make. It was super quick, super easy. And yes, it was kind of shit, but it's one of those things where, yes, it's AI and that makes it easier, but the more time you take on it and the more thought you put into what you're trying to create, the better it's gonna be. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to them as quickly as I can. I'm going to include in the description just a few links to uh, assets you guys can use just to mess around with and get started like Yakub with a green screen. And yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, etc. And peace out.